Jackson, a mom, a wife. I've been in business, cosmetology business, for over 30 years. I pride myself in being a community activist. I love my family and I love this business. We actually opened Charmel's in 1989. It's a really exciting year. It's us in a dream and a lot of elbow grease and money we pulled together every single day. It was like, here, here's some money. Go buy some floors, <laughs> some paint here. <laughs> so 1989 is when we actually started. It started a long time ago in junior high. The Snoop Dogg video, the little girl sitting on the porch braiding Snoop's hair. That was me all the way through junior high. I was like, well, I like to do hair. So I signed up in the eighth grade to do hair all day. I pretty much was in cosmetology. As Soon as I graduated, I had my hours. I went and took the state test. And then that's how I ended up with my license. So I immediately went straight into the workforce right out of high school. In this business, it's no net. It's no safety net. If I don't come to work, I don't eat. <laughs> so it has always given me an edge, a drive to dig deeper, you know, work harder. My husband actually inspired me to open the salon. He came to me with this idea. With opening the salon, it takes a lot. So by seeing the people that I work with, the owners of the building and all the stuff they had to put up with every day and the way people nitpick and all oh, driving you nuts. He came along and said, no, it's, it's time for you to buckle down. This is a good time to do it. You have to stay focused. Stop buying Gucci. He really helped me get disciplined and to come in this business it's like man you have to you have to do this and get it done so he's actually the one that inspired me he even came up with the name and he was like we can call it charmels and i was like who the heck is charmels and he was like um sharon and melvin put it together Charmel. i said oh cute <laughs> i was like so that's how i actually ended up in business it wasn't my idea The reason why they're probably still standing as the salon has been, what, 20 years or more plus is because of Melvin and Sharon's um, attitude, the way they care about their community, and the way they give back. We were going through hard times. They would say stuff like, well, how are you still in Detroit? You should move. You should this. Like, people come every day and like, how did you make it through? A lot of prayer and dedication. <laughs> but we pushed through and we made it and we're still here.